Yo, what is up guys? Shonis is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, but if you already are, welcome back. Now, One Piece fans, today I'm gonna be unboxing One Piece box set number four, and I'm really excited, but I also feel really complete because I already have the box set one, this is box set four, so I still need to get box set two and three afterwards, so I'm still on the hunt for those, but we got number four right here. This manga box right here contains volumes 71 through 90. I believe when it comes to arcs, that's the Dressrosa arc, the Zoe arc, the Whole Cake Island arc, and some of the Reverie arcs. So I'm not gonna try and spoil too much about that, but we see some epic encounters, epic battles. There's always gonna be epic battles in One Piece, but there's gonna be some battles that you don't expect. Some people from opposite sides, even some people on the same sides maybe. So. Some really cool stuff that happens, some sad backstories also, but I'm really loving the box so far. And if you guys are wondering where I get a lot of my anime and manga merch, check out the affiliate links in the description. It really helps out the channel, but let's check out the box. So here we have the front of the box, and I love how One Piece always has that treasure chest style to it. The anime is about pirates, so here we have a lot of the main characters, Zoro, Robin, Luffy, Frankie, Usopp, and Trafalgar Law. Now, if these two guys right here, Law and Zoro, are your favorite character, don't get too excited about these arcs right here, because Law... I'm not even going to talk about Law, but Zoro goes missing in one of the arcs, so you don't even see him that much, so don't get excited that much for these two characters. But we have Dressrosa to the Reverie, box set volume 71 through 90, so we got the front of the box. The side right there, we see Luffy, man's always smiling. Here we have Luffy, we have Black Leg Sanji right there doing their poses, and behind them we got an Emperor. So what I love about these manga boxes is that they always give you a two-sided poster and a special booklet, so we're gonna check that out when we open this box, and main character Luffy smiling like he does, and then the top of the box right there, like a treasure chest, got the little key symbol right there with the little handle. This box opens and closes by these Velcros right here. All right, so the first thing we're gonna check out is the spine of these volumes right here. Check that out. I love seeing nice artwork on the spines right here. We got the Shonen Jump logo at the top, followed by One Piece, each of the volume numbers. Eiichiro Oda, he's the author of One Piece. We got the Viz logo at the bottom. And what I find interesting is that all these volumes say the new world right here. And then this one says Wano. So during these arcs right here, I believe Zoe was an island. I think Dressrosa was an island. So I think it's interesting once they get to the Wano island, that's when they start putting it right there. And here's a closer look at some of the spines right here. One thing I like about the main characters, the Straw Hats, is that a lot of times they wear different outfits. And I love when the anime does that. One Piece always adds some fresh new things to the anime and manga. This is one of my favorite characters right here. Wait till you guys see what this guy can do. But that was a close look at these spines right here and they're beautiful. I love how they have different colors to them also. All right, so before we take a look at the actual books, we're gonna check out the poster and the special booklet right here. All right, so here's the first side of the double-sided poster. It says summer is falling. We see the Straw Hat crew right here in their bathing suits. And I just love the artwork that this man Oda can do. The artwork is just beautiful and Check out Nami right there. The, the female anatomy is interesting in one piece, but Nami's looking beautiful. All the other star hats are looking cool. So I really like this one right here. And then on this side right here, we have the straw hats up top by their younger selves at the bottom. And it's just, when you see the picture like this, it just has to make you smile to see how far along these guys have come. All the straw hats look cool. Robin, Nami, looking beautiful as ever. So. I like the double-sided poster and with this special booklet right here. I never pay too much attention when it comes to these sort of things right here, but just gotta appreciate the artwork that's in these things. So we're just gonna take a look at some of the artwork on the front and the back of these manga volumes right here. And like I said, when they wear different outfits like this, I love that. My memory is a little bit blurry when it comes to some of these previous arts that I already passed. But when I see cover arts like this, it just brings all the memories back. 
this is an epic cover right here. We got a warlord right there. I think this is the best dressing dude in the entire anime. Just look at that drip right there. The man knows how to dress. So many different characters in one piece. All right, this next volume right here might contain spoilers, but I'm not gonna talk anything about it. We just see some awesome looking characters right there. We got an admiral, the back. And this is an epic pose right here by Luffy and Law. And I forgot all about this character right here. He had an interesting devil fruit ability. We got volume 77 right here. And once again, look at the drip on this guy. The warlord, we see his family in the cover right here. Amazing artwork. This one looks boss right here. Volume 78, this image right here is the same thing on the manga box right here. And they chose the perfect one. The straw hats and law just look badass. We got volume 79 right here. And is that Luffy right there in a new form? <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I already know what's happening right here, but epic artwork. We got volume 80 right here, volume 81. And I like that greenish color right there in the background. They definitely made it to Zaw around this time. So dope. And we have volume 82. This one is a little bent right here on the edge. So see how bent it is right there. So hopefully I can try and flatten it out, but the artwork on here looks amazing. We got the emperor on the front cover right there with Luffy. Volume 84 right here. This is where you start to learn more about Sanji and his family. Interesting backstory. Volume 85. Luffy just look like this man is always ready to fight. Volume 86. Volume 87. Emperor right there. And once again, I love this character. But we see a whole group of characters right here. All related to this one right here. So she's a pretty cool, I love this character in the series also. She does not play, but artwork wise, amazing. The artwork in One Piece is just so unique. Luffy, the straw hats around him. And then we have volume 89 right here. This is probably my favorite volume cover out of all the ones that I've seen so far because this was an epic encounter right here. We have this character right here. We have Luffy. Luffy look like he's in a new form right here. So I already know what's gonna happen. So I'm not gonna try and spoil it too hard, but damn, yo, the, whew, the art cover on that one's just badass. And then the last one, we got volume 90 right here. Luffy with the smile, the million dollar smile, and then the back. And here's just the view to give you all the volume covers at once and just to appreciate all of them. And then last but not least, I want to show you guys all the back of the volume covers at once just to appreciate this side too. Because me personally, I like looking at the back artwork just as much as the front. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of One Piece, the manga box set number four. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Peace.